How's it going, everybody? Today, we got brand new Game Breaker cards. We've got, uh, we'll go through all of these in a minute, but they look absolutely fantastic. 85 is our highest with these. We've got our brand new Milestone. Uh, Logan, um, we'll go through those as well. Um, I'm, I'm liking what we got. I hope that you guys like it too. They are capped at 85 for right now. Um, I think they're trying to limit and uh, get the 85s out and then work it uh, like month by month. Excuse me. Um, but we will um, check it out and see what we got. Let's get into it. So th these are the cards that I'm talking about, the Grand Breakers. And we've got Milestones right here. Utah inaugural game. We've got the cover athletes that we have before. Okay. We're good with that. Let's go to events. We're going to go through the Game Breaker cards first because these are the big ones. And we're going to start at the bottom with Mr. Porter Martone. Let's take a look at him. Porter Martone. 6'3", 196. He's got uh, 88 agility, 82 speed. Shoots right, so he'll be your uh, left winged board. Um, he's got a slap shot power of 89, so he's got that 1T on there, on there, and then, uh, 89 wrist shot power. So he's gonna be good over there. He's got power forward, which isn't likely to be used, and at 80, he's probably, um, not gonna make the cut. But that's okay. We're gonna go to Henrik. Hammerneens. He's got offensive defenseman. He's left D left-handed. Uh, 6'1", 185. He might be on the smaller end he's got 78 defensive awareness may not pick off a lot of passes um 83 wrist shot power and slap shot power mid mid shooting lower 80s on the accuracy um and then he's got mid uh mid to lower skating so this one i don't think is going to make the cut for us let's get on to the next one we got mr julius honka He's a uh, 5'11", 185. He's right D, right-handed. He's a little bit on the smaller side as well. He only has 75 defensive awareness. May not be picking off those passes either. He's fast. So if you can get him to break into the zone and um, do the work for you, he's got uh, mid-80s to higher-80s power uh, for both slap shot and wrist shot. That might work out for you. Uh, let's go on to Connor Ingram, Mr. Goalie Boy. Um, he is 6'2", 196. They haven't really done anything for smaller goalies. His durability is 88, so I wonder if his, uh, fatigue meter won't go down so fast. Um, but even then, he's got mid to low stats. I, I would, I don't, I'm not gonna see using him. Uh, we got Justin Folk. Uh, six, six foot even, 214. Uh, he's, he's mid-tier as well, lower tier. Uh, I don't think he's gonna make the squad either. Alright, we got Stuart Skinner at 6'4", 230. This might be a good goalie to get. If you need something above the 76s or anything like that, this would be a really good goalie to get. The bigger goalies are the, the ones we gotta, gotta aim for right now. Um, but with like the mid, mid 80 shot, I don't know if he's gonna be good enough for you right now. Uh, we got left-handed Gavin McKenna with playmaking forward. He will get a boost. His agility will go up to 93, so he'll be zooming. And his hands uh, will be mid, uh, uh, which is really, really good. He's got 90 wrist shot power and 90 slap shot power, which is fantastic. So if you can get this guy on the right side and get him some shot, that's awesome. I th I'd say I'm, I might get this guy, but I don't know. He has a, a six foot even, 165, so he might get tossed around. But I think he might be good. Uh, we got Mr. Sumoy. Um, he is center left handed, 5'10, 183, a little bit of a smaller boy as well. Uh, face off 78, so you can't put him at center. Um, he's got 85 wrist shot powers, 86 slap shot power, um, mid tier skating, lower endurance. So he won't be able to keep up that speed for long. But uh, this might be a good uh, right winger as well. 
All right, here we go. Into the 83s. We got Mr. Nick Suzuki, which is a go-getter. Uh, he's going to be on our left side wing. Uh, he's got 82 face-off, which is about right where the face-offs are about right now. Uh, 87 acceleration, 90 agility, 88 speed. So he's going to be a zoomer. Plus, he's got playmaking, which will get his agility up to 92. And his offensive stat or his hand stats will go up as well. Puck control, passing. This guy's going to be a good, good one for your squad. All right. Now we got Morgan Riley back on D. He's got tape to tape at two-way D-man. His defensive awareness will go up to 86. His stick checking will go up to 89. His offensive awareness will be 88. His shot, his power uh, is mid-tier. His accuracy is uh, lower 80s. Um, and his speed is pretty mid. But that's pretty all right about right now because um, he'll be able to break in and help out. I think we're going to go and get Morgan Riley. Uh, Mika Zabinijad's got one T. Uh, 79 faceoff, so I'm going to put him on the wing. Um, he's got Sniper 4, which will boost up his stats to a... Uh, the mid mid uh, shot. Then we got 86 speed or er, 86 acceleration, 87 agility, 87 speed, and 85 endurance. So he's gonna be able to keep up that speed. Um, I think this is a good one for the left side if you need a if you need a left handed or er, a right handed winger. All right, now we've got Big Miko with gold. Make it snappy with sniper forward. His shot gets into the or close to the 90s. His wrist shot accuracy will hit 90. His wrist shot power will hit 86. Slap shot power 88. Slap shot accuracy 89. So it'll we gotta go for those one T. He's got 85 for stick checking. His hands are all at 88. Wonder why. Agility at 89. Speed at 86. Acceleration at 85. This is a great, great right winger with left handed. I'm gonna go get him for sure. Then we got Charlie McAvoy with goal shutdown, two-way defenseman. He's got 89 defensive awareness, so in the high high pressure points of the game, he's going to be able to pick it off, take it back the other way for us. Actually, plus his two-way defenseman actually puts that defensive awareness up to 91, and his stick checking up to 91 as well. And his offensive awareness at 88, and his endurance at 87, with his speed at 87, agility at 86. He's got mid, uh, mid to lower 80 or 85 uh, shots. Uh, um, let's see, and then we're back to Porter Marcone. All right, let's head on to the next section. We got the milestones. All right, first milestone we're gonna go with is Mr. Kesterling here. All right, he's got uh, 82 stick checking, which will go up to 84 with this two-way defenseman. Uh, defensive awareness at 85, so he'll be able to pick it off at least with this 80. Um, this is a good starting defenseman on your left-handed side, or on your lefty side. Pardon me. Uh, offensive awareness at 81. He's got the power, but not the accuracy. So if you can at least put it towards the net, maybe you'll be able to get a tip or so. Plus he's at 64 and 190s, and he's got... Uh, his Body checking's at 82, so you'll be able to drop some kids. All right, we got Valamaki, Mr. Left-handed defenseman on the lefty side. Uh, he's got 83 shot blocking, 82 stick checking. He is 6'2", 205. Body checking is at 78 for a big boy. He's, his body checking is a little low. Hand stats are really low. Um, I don't know if this one's going to be a, a usable one. He's got speed which will hopefully get in the zone, and his accuracy on his shots are not very good. So if he can put it towards the net as a uh, beginning defenseman, this might be all right, an all right choice, but there are a lot better ones out there. All right, we got 82, Logan Cooley. Uh, close to getting the Calder last year. Well, I want to say close. Not really. He didn't have that many points. But stick checking at 83, he is 5'10", 174. He's going to get tossed. Um, he's got mid to high 85 or 80 stats. Um, 83 durability. He's got the speed, though. Look at that speed down there. He's got 87 speed, 90 agility, 89 acceleration. Plus, he's got lower mid 80s shots, um, accuracy and power, which is great for a new guy. And uh, then we got brand new captain Clayton Keller. Uh, puck on a string with playmaking forward. Puts him at 5'10", 178, which means he's going to get bumped off the puck. 
Uh, we got... He can't put him at center. He's a right winger, uh, for sure. He's got 70 face-off. Uh, go away song, so that I can see what that was. 87 discipline, so penalties may not be a factor. His hands are going to be all lower 90s, which is fantastic for this point of the game. Uh, he's got 93 agility, 89 acceleration, 90 speed. This card I am going to go get for sure. Um, let's see, are there any more cover athletes that have come out? I don't see any other new ones. Okay, we're going to go check out the objectives then. Next on the list, figure out how we can get those guys. Okay, it's still the same XP boys. Nothing added there. We're going to press this button to get over to there. Okay, we've done our... We are going to start with... I'm going to say... X-Factor Series 1 Choice Pack. That's interesting. Uh, 81 overall game breaker Justin Falk. That's a freebie. I think you just need to play with one or more heartbreaker item. Okay, our daily one. XP season week one. We're almost there. We got six minutes until we can open that. XP week two is on Thursday. They're even telling us when it's going to come out. So we're going to start week two on Thursday to help us get through that XP path. Um... Which is fantastic that they're letting us, um, they're giving us more ways to gain more XP like this. Uh, anything else down here? We are mostly done there. Let's go look at the single player. See if there's any moments. Ah, here we go. Game Breaker moments. If you get through... Okay, uh, reward players pack. Hut Breaker collectible. Reward pack, Hut Breaker collectible again. Another reward pack. There's coins along the way. All right, we got another reward pack, Hut Game Breaker. At the end of it all, wait, Hut Green Breaker. Okay, so let me go look at the set. Maybe that makes sense. Ah, they're set. They're set. Okay, so there's an 80. There's an 84 gameplay. Uh, Game Breaker, I was- why? Why would you go and do these two? Unless if you really, really want the player. When you could just go for an 84 and pray you get... I would say go get an 84 and then... 82? I don't understand this. Because then there's no trade-in for anything else. So go do your 84. You get them free by doing the uh, the moments, which I'm going to do offline. If you guys want to see me during the week, uh, we go from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. Central Time. Um, and I hope you like, subscribe, all of that stuff. We've got a lot more coming along the way. Um, if there's anything else you guys want me to... To go over we can go over that my best uh we just did a video over the best xp uh way to grind which i'm actually recanting on if you saw that video i think actually squad battle might be better now um if you can beat the um if you can beat it on superstar and get the 1900 points that is the best way to go um so go check out that video, see how I broke it down, see if we, uh, that might be okay. Uh, what's this 25 one right here? Hold on. Oh, weekly hot moments. Okay. Weekly hot moment pack, and then a free 80 bugs stat. Oh, shit. Okay. That's interesting. All right, well, go do these as well. Go get your weekly moment pack, see what all you get out of that. Let me know what you get down below. Like, subscribe, all this stuff. See you next time. Bye.